me. Let the weekend commence. Drop that weekend. Why does it always have to be guttural voices that we say? Drop that weekend. There well, we there's go. a bit of that, too. A little bit of 80s. There's rock. no normal voices. I cannot. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Back Talk. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. It's like somebody got kicked some more. Come on, man. Hi. How? Welcome. That's Sam. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. All righty. So today's back talk, and we'll take some Virtually. questions later on, is about Dice Tower Convention 2019. Now, before we get started in this, just want to clarify, on Monday, I talked about Dice Tower East in 2020. That is not the topic of today's conversation. If you have questions about that, I'll do another Q&A Monday so you can come back there. Mm -hmm. Here we're talking about the past and kind of like what we did during that week and our thoughts on different events and things that we were part of. Game Z was thing. in the Mega Work. Civilization game. I loved it. <laughs> you were? You did it again? I did it again. That's, Mega Civ, baby. That was all Saturday. That's a definition of insanity. You realize that? No, they started oh, I at, loved it. They started at 9, setting up. I want to say they were ready to go at 9.30. And then they finished, that was 9.30 a.m., mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they finished, I think, just before 2. So wait a minute. A.m. Mm -hmm. It know. wasn't 24 hours. So, Not again, quite. I hate to come back to this, but why then will you not play Twilight Imperium 4? And it won't take that long as you played with this game. This, this was <laughs> fun, fool! <laughs> and TI4 is fun too! Just to clarify. I've heard to the contrary. If you're like just tuning in, Z was not playing Mega Civ. I didn't play Mega Civ. I went in there various uh, times crazy. to watch. You did it. I went in there at various times to watch people kind of. No, that was a mega, mega game, game and that was four mega hours. Civilization. Oh, Mega what Civ. Okay. That really massive one. Have you seen it at conventions? 17. Usually I walk into a room and roll and I'm like, oh. oh, oh. 17. <laughs> I've done that before. It's like you walking. Record scratch. And it's like you hear the fun <laughs> escaping the room. <laughs> oh, close the door. <laughs> That's not right. No. If you like Mega Civ, do your thing. No, it looked, here's the thing though. It looked like they were having a really great time. And each time I went in, I was expecting, you know, to come in and they're like, you know, but they they seemed they no, were doing I get it. it. They were, they yeah, seemed, I get it. They seemed pretty good all the way through. So that it looked like they everyone had fun. Everyone told me they had fun. Cool. Actually, several people there we went to college with were in that game. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, was, okay, that's cool. So that was a, uh, it was it just was neat to go all in, right. um, and to see that, and then to go play Me. a different game. <laughs> well, no, I mean again. <laughs> We jest, but if that's your thing, that's exactly. the place to do it. That is exactly. the place to do Actually, it. Actually, you didn't sure. play TI4 this year, did you? No, I didn't because somebody he dropped the ball in setting up the game. What about Blood Rage? Oh, did you play Blood Rage? No, I actually didn't play Blood Rage either. <laughs> Where's the real hat? <laughs> Cats and dogs! Okay, here's the, here, here's the thing. A guy asked me if he would. Uh, if I would play Blood Rage with him, and I said, yes, I'll be back at 1 o'clock. We'll grab it and go play it. And then I went to take back my my rental car. And when we got back from the hotel, when we got from, when we got back from dropping off my rental car, mm -hmm. my son said, I think I left my switch in the rental car. So we called the rental car company. We can't find it. All right, got to start heading back. We get halfway, you know, we check the hotel room. We start heading back. Found it. So that took like an hour. Not in the rental car. Right, not in the rental car. So by the time I got back, it was like 2 o'clock. I looked for the guy, couldn't find him, and then got into another game. I think game. I saw him much later weeping. <laughs> no, he wasn't weeping. All right, someone asked about the top five video. So that went up yesterday, but the audio was not good. There was just a variety of problems. We had a really great audio team in 2018. They didn't come back. Oh, they weren't hired by the convention to come back in 2019. So we were doing stuff on the fly with the hotel, and it just didn't work out for that particular video. Right, right. I've taken it down for the time being. I don't think we'll repost it. We'll see what we can do. Either way, we'll remake the list at some point. Top 10 annoying games. I'll give you a quick rundown, though. 10, Sam, 9, Z, 8, Jason, 7, Sam, 6, Z. I'm just going to keep Wow, five. we only did five on the video, though. Five, Roy. Why does he have so Four. many? Uh, at least Roy's higher than I am. Four, Z. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what we can do to get that back up. Um, 
Robert says, thanks for signing our SpaghettiOs can. Did either oh, of you yes, sign that? That's funny. Yeah. That's a really funny story. Yeah, these guys came and they had me sign a SpaghettiOs can, and I was like, why? why? And he said that they were at the convention, I guess, the previous year. I think so. They were in the middle of a game, and some guy popped open a can of SpaghettiOs, ate them cold. And, there, and he started he, pulling out, like, spices to throw in it. He was, like, you know, eating over a game, a can of SpaghettiOs, <laughs> and they were all sort of somewhat shocked, and that became a thing. He said they were going to get it all signed and then possibly use it in the future as a star player marker. No, they, they're using it now as a star player oh, okay. marker, yeah. Okay. When's the last time either of you have eaten SpaghettiOs? Oh, jeez. Well, I guess equitably I've done uh, ravioli, you know, Chef Bayardi raviolis out of a can pretty quick. Oh, really? Pretty, pretty recently, yeah. I haven't done it's, it. In I mean, years. it's not something I plan on doing like this fellow did. Um, <laughs> but I mean, if it's like a, if I'm like, hungry and I'm gonna, gonna if I'm walking down the street and I see a can of ravioli, I'm like, hey, I wasn't planning <laughs> no, on eating a can of ravioli no, no, today, no. but <laughs> I do have my trusty fork. <laughs> And your can I'm opener? talking about that. Oh, I haven't eaten spaghetti no, Some of those things have, like, pop-top Oh, cans. that's no. true. That's I don't buy anything if it doesn't have a pop-top these days. Actually, if I go to the store and I don't see a pop-top, I'm like, like ah, I'm it seems like a lot of, of work. I got a can of corn. I'm, I look at it, I'm like, no, this is <laughs> good. <laughs> Are you 100%, 100%. When I was in high school, I used to eat cream corn out of the can all the time. Cold? Oh, yeah. Woo! Well, like I mean, it's not cold. It's it's off, cold. It's off the shelf. Okay, it's, not it's heat room it. temperature. It's Whatever. not cold. Cold. Room temperature cream corn just sounds bad. Cream corn does not sound that good. Guys. It's good. Okay, it, we're it getting we're getting off very good. We're getting off topic here. Especially the sweet <laughs> cream corn. Um. Well, okay. People are asking questions about that. The cream corn. No, about the the top five and everything. Um. Do you know when you have more details on Dice Tower West tickets? Oh, I'm pretty sure the date for Dice Tower West is going up in uh, August, I think, is when those are going live. Right. It'll, it'll be on Dice Tower West website. Um, alrighty, so, any games you guys play that were good? Oh, good. No. Oh, he said good. Yeah. That just oh. that just cut out my. I played a bunch of games that, uh, for the most part, I what I do at these kinds of conventions is play games I already know and teach them to other people. Yeah. I did play a couple of new things. I played two new things that were new to me. I think I played uh, two new things also. Yeah, I have two anyway. I wrote them down real quick here when when before we started doing this. But I don't know about the good part for me. You know what I mean? I played Llama, which you played. Yeah, and I played. Uh, uh, the new Wolfgang Warsh game, the Tavern of the Tavern or the Taverns of the Deep Valley. It's that's the English title. It's not on the cover because it's in German. You like it? It was kind of like Gangshan Clever, the board game, with a boring theme. Well, I mean, it's not like Gangshan Clever had a theme at all. At all, but I'd rather have taken that. Honestly, it's oh, like, really? oh, you're running a tavern, and there's some people who come over and they drink at your tavern. All the art work, I think it's Clemens Franz, so all his games start to look alike. Um, I thought it was okay. Mm. It wasn't. It wasn't captivating me. You roll dice, you take one, pass your pool to the next player. You place that die, take another one. You're activating everything. Works with everything else. That kind of thing. Make money and make this and buy new things. New people you can serve at your bar. Everybody there was losing their minds. Lose had a copy, and I think some guy bought that copy off of him, and some other guy threw him money and said, buy me one and ship it to me, or something like that. Everybody was losing their minds because it was a Wolfgang Warsh game that's not quite out. <laughs> FOMO Precisely, much? yeah. Fear Fo missing out? FOMO Galore. Wow. So it was, <clears throat> yeah, not for me. What about, I want to hear what you thought of, uh, Llama? Llama. Como tu se llama? Because I loved it. <laughs> Llama is uh, is Uno esque. Yeah. Yeah. Really. I mean, I think that's a that would be my positive comment. If you like Uno and you can't find it, it's true. You can play. So Llama. I don't even know about owning both. Why? No, but I mean, if I had Uno and Llama, and you're like, which one would you like to play? I think I would pick Uno. Because with Uno, I can play like a draw four, and there's some fun in that. Yeah, you can mess with people. 
Glowing. I guess you could Glowing. argue that there's one more decision in Lama. Sure, when to bow out? Sure. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You can bow out. Oh no, the rules. Uno esque game. No, the rules actually say you can quit. Okay, so on your turn, you play a card, draw a card, or quit. Are you Which serious? means you can stand up At and walk away. At least the translation away? I read, it says the word quit. And yeah, I was they like, mean like fold for the round. Oh, I know what they meant, but the rule said quit. quit. So I was like, I quit. So that makes <laughs> <laughs> that makes ah. llama better than Uno. Because you can leave. Because you can say, I'm done, guys. I'll see you later. No, it was. Um, you're right. The thing about Uno is you can mess with somebody. You can be like, bam, take four, or I'm gonna skip you. In this game, if you hurt somebody, you did so accidentally. Sure, you don't know. Because I you, could go from like no a You have no information five. about what cards the next person no, has. No, you don't know. And the amount, you can see them dwindling, which is bad because they're going to go out. But you still can't mess with them. You can't be like, oh, you're almost going out. Bam! You can't do that. In Llama? You cannot do that. So, And, and I don't know what they're holding, so I can't really like restrict I'm going to do a them. full review of Llama, I think, next I'll week. I'll give a full review right now. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, I can tell you what the number numerical rating is, though. It's 2 out of 10. Yeah. It didn't get a 1 because the card quality is good. 1 for each A. Wow. La. Wow. Okay. I played a couple of new games to myself. I played um, Fleet the Dice game, which is actually pretty good. It's I've heard nothing. Uh, people are just like, <laughs> he said people are losing their minds about that Ganshan Clever. That Fleet game, who's the... Who's the Who's the drug dealer pushing that one? Or someone was there, I forget who it was, and they were like, you got to play this with everybody! It was, uh, uh, well, the person that taught me was Kenny's, I can't remember his name now. Kenny's uh, Chinese friend. Steven. Steven. Steven, thank you. It wasn't Steven. him. There was some, one of our Dice Tower people was just like, do you want to buy, you want to play Fleet Dice? I forget who it was, but someone was just going well, see, berserk. Steven is the one that taught me. It was me, Chris, uh, Steven, and uh, Kenny. Um, we all played a four-player game. And it was really fun. I mean, it's a roll and write game, but it's it's. I like all of the different mechanisms that, uh, you know, you can launch ships, and those ships are going to be catching fish. And it looks like a more complex roll and write. Game. Oh yeah, it most definitely is. But that's probably why I like it better than just a regular roll and write. But uh, I played that one; it was really fun. And then we all. I also played for the first time Wingspan. Um, that's right. I saw Sam playing, and he's like, "It's my first time." I was like, "What?" I yeah, thought you had played well, it before. No, I haven't. Yeah, I did like it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's very simple, and it's not, you know, difficult to play or anything like that. It's definitely a Euro game, but it's a really light Euro game. Did you play it with the upgraded components, with the birds? Did you have wooden birds in your game? No. Did you have cubes? Yes. Yeah, okay. Disgusting. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, fine. Um, have you played Gizmos? Yes. Which one do you like better, you think? They kind of both got a little engine building. Yeah, they do. Thing. I would guess yeah. Gizmos for Sam because yeah, of the, it's a machine. Like, it seems cool. No, uh, yeah, it is. But I mean, I, I don't know that I would prefer one or the other. I like both of them, I guess, equally. Um, I think Giz, uh, Gizmos has a neater theme, but I think Wingspan has a better look. Yes, 100%. Yeah, I thought I played Wingspan back when everybody was losing their minds about it. And it was good. It's fine. But it's, it wasn't like the second coming of game. I like to interrupt Steve's thing with, it's amazing! It's the best game of the decade. What? No. Best game of the decade? What are you talking about? What? what? I, I was, I was reading what stuff and I can't remember. The decade's almost over, man. Ooh. I know. It's we're going to do that oh, next year. It. Top no, 10 I'm of the decade. Top 10 thematic games of the decade. I'm doing it. Next year, all our top 10 lists are going to be of the decade. Uh. <laughs> I'm, uh, Actually, we can do that this year because it's nine. Can I do it? It's my idea. I want credit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Wait Although there's a good chance that our top 10 games of the decade are pretty close to our top 10 games. Not quite. I know we all have some games that were not made this decade that oh, are in our top right. 10, but it's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. At least no. five would be. Yeah, you're right. Okay, maybe. All right, what else? What did you play, by the way? Did you say already? I wasn't listening. Oh, uh, some <laughs> 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 thanks. Uh, I played uh, Escape Plan. 
You this, did? Yeah, this one I was. I, I wanted to play it because it's even though it's a. The towel. La, la, la Cerda. La, la, la Cerda game. It's, it's a theme that sounds really cool. It you're is. a bunch of criminals. You've robbed it. You've hit it in various spots around the city, and then you're all like, "See ya." Hope you make it out, and then you all just start running, and then you try to make it out, and not everyone will. That does it's, sound cool. Uh, yeah, and it's but I mean it's there's a lot of mechanisms. But I was taught by Rainer from um, Board and Dice Games, and man, he's a great teacher, mm -hmm. and he's a great follow up because because we were almost done, and someone came and said, "Aren't you running pitch guard in like 20 minutes?" And I was like, Ooh! "So I was already finished with the game because you can escape early in the final round." And then everyone else has to pay more money and stuff. Mm -hmm. They need to get out quicker. So I thought, okay, if I do that, I might win. Because I felt pretty good about how much money I had gotten. Also, I don't want to take that chance of getting caught in a city. And then he scored me up, sent me an email with the scores, with all the things I did wrong slash right, and strategy tips <laughs> in the email. Also, he won. Uh, but I got second. So... Yeah, I really liked it. I don't know how often I want to play it all the time. And, it, and if you asked me to teach it, I'd be like, cool. Um, where's Rainer? You know? <laughs> how long did it take? Just under two hours. And that included the teaching. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, saw, I put it away. Uh, and it, it's, I put some, some of it away anyway. And it's, it looked like a lot. And that's, from what I've heard, one of the simpler Vitalicerta games. I'm sure, like, oh but you know God. what? This is one of those times where theme matters because the theme helped that make sense to It'll me. It'll carry you through some of that, sure. Right, like you are going, the, you, you can go from here to here because of a helicopter. Okay, that makes sense. You get to shoot fools. No, but you can hire gang members to take out the police because the, the police are everywhere in the city trying to take you out. You're shooting the police with no, the gangsters. No, you are hiring gang members. I don't know what they're doing. I got it. You're okay. telling people to shoot police. All right. Someone asked, did anyone get knocked out by a board game backpack? <laughs> I saw a lot of them, but there's a lot of space there. So yes. you could you could go in the middle and do the sound of the music thing with the backpack. The hills saw are you. alive. I saw you. Yeah, doing that. It's nice. All right. A lot of people are talking about llama. Um... Some people like llama. Some people don't. So llama says, Spiel nominee is no good then. Look, I far be it from me to criticize the Spiel des Jahres uh, committee, but that was dumb. Wait, that's not how I should say it. I don't want to say they made a poor choice. But they so did. So, Z? They made a poor choice. Boom! Wow. I, I, it, this one blows my mind. I cannot figure out how that game was nominated, honestly. I get that games are lighter for this category. For the Spiel's Yards, I mean, that, that, fine, there's always going to be light games. And they're sometimes lighter than you want. I mean, King Domino was pretty light. Llama yeah. makes King Domino look like a Lacerda game. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good line. Um, there's also got to be a spark of imagination and interest there. And um, in my opinion, I'm not on the committee. I think they would want to highlight bringing something to a family where maybe that thing is fresh and enjoyable to the average German family. I just don't see Llama filling that. Right, the whole point of the spiel is to bring people into gaming. Or to like, again, highlight a game that they think would be good for a family setting, something for them to buy for the family, for the kids, to bring them together. Maybe, Llama? Maybe Uno isn't big in Germany. It will be now. No, that's what I'm saying. Under the game. I mean, we're, we're talking from you know the American market where Uno has basically saturated it. Maybe, maybe. And maybe it isn't a big deal over there. So be. Llama is something new over there. That could be. I'll give them the. Man, there is a out. ton of card games that I got from Germany. Some are amazing. Some are okay. You know, like No Thanks, for example. Very simple card game, but offers a lot of interesting choices. Yeah. This, I'm, I'm telling you, your choices are draw a card, play a card, or quit. Anyway, um, actually, Oliver says, I was bought for sure because 2 out of 10 is too high. Um, uh, people are talking about various things here, about Fleet the Dice game. Apparently, I'm behind Wingspan. Well, somebody said Uno is big in Germany. Sorry. Well, yeah, sure, but Uno's also Grasp, big. Grasping at straws. No, but Uno's right. also big in America. Yeah, I know. That yeah, doesn't really. mean we have to say it's a good game, though. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it's a good game. What I was saying is that he was saying that he didn't understand how this was going to appeal to the German market, and I was okay. thinking that maybe Uno is not that big in Germany, and this would be something new that would appeal to that, that market. But That's really stretching, though. Yeah, the end of the That's day, like saying say Candyland's good because people haven't seen Roll and Write before. 
That doesn't make it a good mechanism. Roll no. a move, you mean. I'm saying roll right too much now, huh? Yeah. Even if, I mean, let's assume that Uno is not that bad, right? Let's say it's like an average game for families. Then why nominate a game as the best game of the year? Yeah, that's the other thing, Even too. if it is average. Average, I'm not saying it's bad, right? Let's assume, let's start from there. It's an average game for families. All right. You got, they picked three games. Is all Of all the games that came out in Germany as the best games for families of an entire year's worth of publications, mm. and that's one of them? Right. Come on. All right, so that's Dice Tower Con. <laughs> John says, hey guys, how did you like the gourmet popcorn? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> All right, we were actually, John, going to do the popcorn on our This is what happened. Let me break it down for you. I brought, you gave me the popcorn. Thank you very much once again. Came back. I unloaded my bag, and I took the popcorn, and I put it on a shelf at home. Untouched, mind you. <laughs> and when, we, when these guys got extra popcorn at Dice Sour Con, I heard so much of how I was holding back I didn't the popcorn. Get, I didn't get any popcorn at Dice Tower Con. I'm just saying. Well, so somebody got like a pack. No, no, it was a communal popcorn, which I brought in here, and we were going to eat some of it for back talk, but we were down to like 25% at this point because some people here but when I was could told not control that I, themselves. I was told you were giving popcorn to share, and you did not, good sir. I got slapped in the face with a glove, and I said, oh, I have it at home. I saw that. That is actually true. I brought it back in. It was sealed, so I don't want to hear it. Apologize to me. <laughs> who is apologizing? I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the popcorn was delectable. It's very good. Anyone tried Dead Men's Cabal at the convention? You played after? Yeah, I, 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 it, my review will go up this week, actually. Okay, I have um, If you like skulls and bones, there's a lot in this game. You unboxed it, right? I did. It looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, those are some... There's They're a really lot well of skulls made. and really bones well in that yeah. game. Um... Let's see here. Uh, now people are talking about Uno in Germany. Um, das Uno. SDJ. Das so Uno. we had a lot of uh, we had a lot of good times at Dice Tower Con for sure. Mm -hmm. Our shows. Mm -hmm. And if you came up and talked to us and said, "I'm I played games with lots and lots of people," I had a really good time doing that. I had a good time. I like just going around and watching people play games. Yeah. It's always neat to me when I walk and I see some people playing a game. I'm like, "Ooh, I haven't seen that game been played in like 15 years." Good on you. You know, right. that, that makes me happier even than the people who are like, we got the latest hotness here. Yeah, but look at those people. They're playing it. And for some of these people, they've never seen these games before. Yeah. They just go to the library and like, I don't know, let's try it. And you're like, oh, that's a cool game. Yeah, that is neat. I like to see that. Um, why did Tom look towards Roy when he said they cannot control themselves? Because Roy's over there holding both of his hands <laughs> up like he's being... No, because Roy's over there with the bag of popcorn as we speak, also, eating it. Put it down, man. <laughs> Roy is the snacker extraordinaire. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I don't think we could be point figures at the office about this. What? Like, anyone here snacking more than the rest of us? I'm pretty sure Roy snacks more than all of us. Wait, do you? Why are we talking about this? All right. <laughs> well, this person says Llama's going to win the SDJ. Do you think they will? The what? The Spiel Lama's des Jahres. Do you think Lama's going to win? Spiel. Spiel. Let's make your prediction now. The 22nd so. is when. It's 10 days from now, I think. So it's what? Just one, where words, and uh, Lama, right? All right, here's my prediction. Just one. It has to be I think just, just one. one will win, and I think just one should win. So, I, you know, you pick two. Which one do you think will, and which one should? I think it's the same. I mean, well, two. I mean, there does have to be just one, so... No more popcorn for you. <laughs> that's, that's my prediction also, and I think it is the one that should win. It's What's not, a, honestly, one? it's not a wear words. <laughs> just one. <laughs> Llama. These are the best three games of the year for families. I think just one. What happened? It's this already year? starting to work on how they're going to put that logo onto their box. That's what I think. Yeah. I don't know. I know they have up the years. I've never, met a, words I never met a company that was that confident that they're like, Come we're on. preparing. I know, right? They've got to be. I remember Days of Wonder, uh, they talked to me back in 94 when they won the, the Spiel, or the 2004, sorry. Um, and he said to me, 
we have to make a decision whether to print like 50,000 more, but we don't know if we're going to win or not. So they pulled the trigger and printed them just, and then it did win. But if there was ever a year to be confident, I feel like they could have been. Ticket to Ride. Although I don't know if Ticket to Ride would win this year. You mean Llama would beat it? Could you imagine Llama and Ticket to Ride being in the same category? No. It feels like the only way they get away with nominating Llama is because the other two games are small little games too. I'm telling you, there's something happening. There's something happening here. Will we doing a review what of Edge of Darkness? Is, yes. Ain't exactly clear. <laughs> I believe Canizia has pictures. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop there let you finish the song. Yourself. Brian Whipple you know wants to know going. if we can just start over. He wanted to watch this from the beginning but got distracted and forgot what time it was. Yeah, let's do it again. So can we just start over? Here we go. <laughs> okay. Kevin says he heard some talk on Board Game Geek about games coming back to the library missing pieces. Yikes, who steals board game pieces? I don't think that happens Nobody. at all. Nobody. They are being misplaced. Well, they fall on the, yeah, they fall on the floor. We're assuming that's what's going on. This happens at every con that yeah, I've yeah. ever been to. Yeah. Pieces fall. In fact, after Dice Tower Cruise, for the past... Four months, I guess. I had my kids go through every game and count all the pieces because we wanted to make sure they're all there. I don't know if we'll do that again because that was a lot of work. That is ridiculously um, uh, intensive. But it just happens. I've dropped pieces on the floor here. I mean, they uh, look. You're in your little, I mean, is there a piece on the floor now? Because that'd be super ironic. But probably, man. There's pieces everywhere. In I here, know there, Tom. Were, there was a couple pieces over there like earlier today. So. There's pieces everywhere. It sure, happens. Sure, it, it happens. happens. And so you just bring them back. I don't think so anyone's... people hit them with hammers and that happens. <laughs> nobody is <laughs> nobody is taking like a cube and like... <laughs> yes. I mean, I hope not. That would be really jerky. Come on. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not cool. But that's well, what's going on. It happens. And then the problem is when you see the piece by itself and it's like playing a Where's Waldo game. Like, where does this go? Yeah, well, I guess I, I, guess I want to say uh, we're, we're not turning a blind eye to the fact that people at conventions do steal things. Yeah. We're not trying I to just find doubt that, people but, but steal like a single component from a game, right? Unless it's like you know a miniature or something. I could see I could see people stealing a miniature. Oh, it's happened. Yeah. I mean, if I you mean, steal enough components from enough different games, you will eventually have stolen a full game. Can you imagine some guy and at his house? He's like, I finally done it. I've stolen a thousand games. It took me thirty years. Yes. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> now I have all the pieces I need for my prototype. How does he get the boards though? <laughs> like I got everything but the board. He Guys, steals I'll one fold card, the board up. One card at a time. Uh, I will say and this, tapes though, them together I'll, into a board. You know, uh, on this whole people scene, I left my entire base set of Joan of Arc overnight. Set up. Where? Oh, in, in the, really? In the hall. Wait, what? And it that was, was yours? And it was still there, yeah. I was just going to steal it, but I was like, I don't really know the person. <laughs> you weren't. Um, so, I mean, there is that. That's fine, yeah. yeah. Alright. Um, someone said Roy's like the Flash. He needs calories. Um, he moves so much. Changing your... Uh, now we're talking... Shifting uh, your weight. Did we play Abomination the Air Frankenstein? No, we got it. It looks cool. It is here, yeah. It looks very macabre, though. The whole... I mean, those, mm, those dead... Macabre. The I dead, like that word. The macabre. dead appendages. The dead appendages, you're just like... And torso. Huh. Realism. <laughs> Yeah, really? really? They look, they look uh, well, realistic? Not, not realistic, but they... Not realistic, but I mean, it's... It's not... It's, it's scratch not like, and sniff? This isn't... It's <laughs> why would you want scratch and sniff with corpses? It's not the Universal Studio Immersion, Frankenstein baby. at all. <laughs> oh, huh? It's not the Universal Studio Frankenstein at all. Oh, no. This is... You found a body in a graveyard, and you're trying to bring it back. Yes. Oh, so. well, that is macabre. Now you're using the word. I like it. I like that word. Um, let's see. What game is the best board game for families? Ooh, we did a top ten on that. Hmm. I, do, I do kind of want to. This is, this would be way too snarky, but I do kind of want to make a list that is top ten better picks for the spiel this year. Ooh. Let's I approve of this list. Yeah. Nice hour. That's a good. I. I really think you could. I think we all three could easily. And they would all be different. And I think they we could do all... thirty different games. I know we could. Are we? Are we trying to make somebody on we could the also SDJ just do... committee? I'm gonna get the Germany guys. Like, Welcome do... to Germany. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah! yeah. Wait, we gotta, we There's get... your spiel, yours. 
We could do that. We could also just do like each of us pick three games that we think would be a good three nominees for each category. Well, I honestly, just for the main one, the other categories are not bad. It would take a little bit of work though, because I had to figure out if it was in Germany or not. Because there are some American games that might be, oh, that's a good one, but it wasn't printed in Germany. Yeah. Honestly, almost this year, I'm pretty sure the recommended list. Probably better than the nominees, right? Uh, let me see. The Spiel des Jahres 2019. I'm pretty sure they have a. I'm pretty sure they have a recommendation list here. Mm -hmm. So. Right. Uh, well, it's not on this page. No one talks about the recommended list. They, I don't think the recommended list gets you any. No, it's just sad. Okay, uh, from their website, Sorry. Just One Llama and Words of Words is what uh, Where Words is called there, I guess. A recommendation list has six other games. Okay, let's hear them. Do you want to make a call ahead of time that all six are better than I've Llama? I've seen it, but yeah, probably. All right, here we go. Oh, Bell Roddy, I don't know. It's a party game, I think. Uh, somebody's Dizzle, it, but I've I played. I know someone's publishing it, but I don't know if it's public information yet, so. Dizzle. Never played it. Probably not. Imhotep the Duel. Better. Yes. Reef. Better. Yes. Sherlock. Sherlock? No, Sherlock. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what that is. And I'm not going to say the name of that one in, <laughs> in English. The wow. First. <laughs> Seriously? That's what it's called in English. <laughs> All right. I guess we're 10 here. We are not doing this, man. That's on the recommended list. Crass? Poop. Okay. It's called crass poop, but not it's not poop. The S word. Schnitzel. You count them all at the end? You don't count bits as the games are checked in? Oh, no way. That would be are uh, you tremendously slow. We could. Wait, do you that. want the librarian as a game comes in to count all the bits for that? Meanwhile, six other games come in. It's like the I Love Lucy thing here all over yes, again. It's like, that's exactly. <laughs> eating count cubes. Them. I'm eating count cubes. <laughs> <laughs> count them. No, we Swing them by, that. though. That's impossible. Oh, my goodness. That would be unreal. That'd be very slow. Yeah. I mean, yes, you could do a quick check of the game, and I think that happens at most libraries, yeah, but, but you wouldn't know if one no. piece was missing without counting them out. What happens is, people don't notice the pieces are missing as much as pieces are brought back. There's always a bowl at every con I've been mm -hmm. to. These are missing pieces. A lot of conventions say, help us figure out what game they're from, but if sure. it's a brown cube, who knows? I always know what I do with that, and that from now on, anyway, I write crass poop. <laughs> <laughs> From here on out, man. That's definitely going to have to have a name change if it ever makes it over to the Jonathan American said, I just realized market. that walking around barefoot in a Dice Tower studio might be as bad as doing so in a Lego enthusiast's room. <laughs> It's not that bad. No, no, it's not that bad. It's mostly like not to mention we when we find the pieces we pick them up and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah, cardboard, cardboard tokens. It's not. It's not. Maybe like they're stealing pieces to replace missing pieces from their own like game. Again, like someone's like, possible. Wow, I needed a red on. disc. It's possible, but oh it's very my. unlikely. That's is all just, we're saying. It's wow. very unlikely. Again, we find the pieces. You usually we have more pieces, and we can't figure out what games they come from. Yeah. And then there's the problem that they might not even come from the library's games, but they come from. Personal Somebody games that people brought. Mm -hmm. um, right, by the way, are you a fan of games that include extra pieces? Yes, but I almost always take them out and stick them in my extra piece drawer. Yeah, I leave them in there, but I leave them individually, like bagged, them in their definitely own easily marked and bagged, and like don't. But open then it, it should be mentioned, yeah, extra pieces, extra piece. like the ticket to ride trains. I always take out. Yeah, like that drives three me nuts. more of each color, or whatever. I mean, I'm glad that they're there. Don't get me wrong. I think that's a fantastic thing. I think thing. it's a good but yeah, idea. I do that, but I still bag them and keep them in the game. Yeah, all the three of each color together bagged in there. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't do that, who knows if I'll find it. What again. was your favorite event at Dice Tower Con? I had a blast doing that Jenga thing with, with Bonacore. That, looks that, funny, worked, yeah. that worked really well. <laughs> By the way, we have a theory that you're, well, I don't know if, I don't know if we actually talked about this. I, I don't know what this theory would be. Uh, I can't remember who I talked to that about I'm it. That I'm throwing it? There's a theory that you're throwing and that we need to find a better representative for the Dice Tower. That sounds like something Jason so we would can, say. So we can take out Bonacore. Well, actually, we talked about next year making it. him. We, there's two things we've talked about. One, 
by making it a team activity next year. Uh -huh, and two, fun. we're gonna I'm putting together a bowling team and we're gonna go <laughs> bowl against Bonagore. He's like, I'm not good at bowling. I'm like, well, neither am I. Yeah. We'll see what happens. He's gonna he's gonna stack his team. I mean, yeah, he's gonna get bowlers, man. <laughs> He's gonna get. Dirty. He's gonna be like, yeah, new employee for Stronghold. <laughs> and the guy's like, hello. <laughs> like, whoa. This guy, look up his credentials. Like, every picture on Facebook is him bowling. You're like, <laughs> start quizzing him about gaming. Do we know anyone who's really good at bowling? We could. Not really. Okay. Anyway. Um, no, but okay. So that was like a, a show event. Like yeah, uh, the cool. game stuff I did. I had so much. I met a group of people. I don't know. Honestly, I apologize. I don't remember any of the names. It was just a really fun. I played that Meow Meow Mia yeah. with them, and it just worked really well. Everyone was really into the game, and that was that was a really good uh, experience. I really had fun there. I liked all the things we did. I enjoyed. I mean, this is kind of upsetting to say because you might not be able to see it, but the top five was yeah really a good list, and we had a lot of fun, and there was a lot of back and forth. It was an active list. The yeah. audience was engaged. It, it went really well. Yeah. Um, other events, like I said, everything was good. I had a fun time teaching games that I really like and that maybe are a little less known to people around. Like I got to play the uh, Shipwreck Arcana, or Arcana, whatever you want to say, which is this little tiny white box. It's a deduction, cooperative deduction game. Busted that out, taught a couple of people, and... I just like seeing that whole, like, oh, this is neat, and it keeps growing. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll turn to one another and be like, we got to get this. You know, I, lo I love that. I love sharing what I like about this hobby, that discovery, that enjoyment of something that you didn't know about, and now it's like, oh, man, this is providing joy. Uh, so I, I like doing that. I think probably the, um, and I, it, not just because, you know, I, I feel like I have to say this, but I think the the painting sessions were probably my favorite aspect of of the convention because you have usually you've got a mixture of different people you've got people who are tried and true painters that just want to come in and do the painting mm. and they enjoy doing that and they wanted to corner off part of their time at the convention to do it and you also have uh, clearly uh, moms or dads who have never even thought about painting but their kids wanted to do it, so they came with their kid to do it, and that's a really cool thing to see. Um, and then you see people that are just, they just want to give it a try, you know, and, and a lot of people did say that. Uh, a couple of them said, yeah, this is probably not for me. I'm not going to do this ever again because now I've tried it, and this is too stressful, you know, that type of stuff. And other people are like, man, I've never tried this, and it's it's so zen. It's so, you know, that's their wording, not mine. Uh, it's so calming, so peaceful. And, and so that, that's pretty cool, too. I was talking with Emerson Masucci, and he said that, uh, uh, was it with you? No, it might have been with Vernon. It was with Vernon. And uh, he was telling Vernon how he sat down to paint a miniature. And he was just taking his time doing this, and he looked up, and it was 10 hours later, and he had finished one miniature. But he was like, it was a cool thing for him because he was so relaxed, and he was so peaceful, and he was Wait, just very cool. One miniature, 10 hours? Again, that's not the norm. But that's just what happened with Emerson. I look at him like, wow, well, so little time has gone by. I'm, is this still an hour left? <laughs> do I still got to keep painting? Am I done yet? <laughs> yeah, that's true. You did do, uh, we painted that one time together, and you were done quickly. Shot it. <laughs> How is that a negative thing? I said you were done quickly. Continue. It also looked awful. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> Oliver said, going back to the spiel where you said the 10 games better, he said, wouldn't that just be the Dice Tower Awards? Not quite, because no, ours, no, ours this are, is a, no, like even our family game, ours are done in a calendar year. That's true, too. And also, they're not, vote, they're voted by committee. They're voted on. It's not ours. Right. And there, there's lots yeah. of games I might like from this year that I know are clearly not, that won't fit that category. Look, I get it. They should be light games, games for families. Yeah. It, I just think there should also be a spark of imagination and interest there. Yeah, I mean, Tom kind of oversees uh, the the Dice Tower Awards, but he doesn't choose any of them, and neither do we. Oh, sure, but I still think it's a good list of family games. Well, yeah, oh, 100%, sure. but... I mean, your it would be different choices, from us though, picking yeah, is it would what be we're different. Saying. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to keep talking about this checking bits in at the library. 
You can do that at your library. If I think if I made the people at the library check bits for every game that came in, they quit. I feel pretty confident there would be no more volunteers in the library. Exactly. Uh, Nobody wants. Not to with do the games that. coming in and out as fast as they do. No way. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, you could stick them in a big pile over here and check them later, and then somebody would come and be like, "I want to play that game. I'm sorry, we haven't checked the bits for it yet." Oh my word. Oh, that would be Nobody, a nightmare. Nobody. Uh, we're telling you, as far as we know, no library does that. <laughs> Count the bits as they come back in. It's yeah. just not. That's crazy productive. talk. Productive. No can, offense. You know. What do you think the next unmatched sets will be after Buffy and Dracula Sherlock ones? Do we already know those? Is that I don't thing? know the next sets. I know someone who does, though. <laughs> Rocky and Ivan Drago. That'd be awesome. That but be they would not. They would only be able to do close combat stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's fine. Are they in the same team? Because they always have a. Would it be Rocky and Apollo? Because that'd be cool. No, it has yeah, to be like totally like unrelated things. I could see like Rocky versus like, you know, Rambo. Hyda. Rocky versus Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just rewatched Rambo like four nights ago. First Blood? Yeah. That's a good show. Should it's a hero escape you know fan? This was interesting. Look at them unmatched. How many people Rambo kills in that movie? None. None. That's right. Yeah, he doesn't kill anybody. In Nobody. the first one. In the first one. Right. Whoa. Well, technically, the no. guy who falls out of the helicopter. One person fault. dies. No, but he didn't. In the kill entire him. movie, one he person did. dies. He hit the roof. And he kills no one. Which was really interesting. I'm like, yeah, wow. Because I was watching this little documentary afterwards, like a 10 minute, you know, reel. And I, the guy was talking about how, you know, the movie has gained this all for violence, for this and that, but no one. Rocky kills no uh, Rambo kills no one. I'm like. Yeah, that's true. One dude dies because he takes off a belt to lean out to shoot him. And with the rock on the windshield, the guy's like, oh, he falls out. But that's it. He doesn't kill anybody. Yeah, but that first movie is so different than the other ones. I agree, that's true. 100%. And the second one, they're like, oh, you want to see some more action? This was popular. Turn it up to 11. And then the third one was just, it, <laughs> it's still, even as a kid, I was like, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> There's a tank, and he's just standing there. With a gun. You know, yeah. On a horse with a, right. with a machine gun. Why? Yeah. Because America. <laughs> Rambo. Should a HeroScape fan look an unmatched or are they too far removed? It's not as grandiose. It's like a small yeah, HeroScape. Yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. different. I like it though. I mean, I think if you like one, you like the other. I guess you could look at one as like the two-player version, the, the small two-player version of the other. Epic Duels is, well, that's what unmatched comes from. No, no, but they're saying HeroScape. Right. HeroScape is the big huge thing unmatched is the small two player kind of squad level. I just worry if you're expecting hero scape when you come to unmatch you're going to be underwhelmed it is a two there's two little figures fighting it out yeah with some simple card play right there's no epicness no to it it's it's not really what it's going for the theme's epic the concept is fun and epic. If you get into it, you're like, aha! Ooh, I see you surprised me with that card flip, that kind of stuff. But you're not going to be chucking a handful of dice and having a drag. You know, that, that's just not there. Right. They're, t they're still talking about the top five audio. And one guy made a comment. And I think he meant it positively, but it was pretty funny. He said, the, the top five video had quite a few thumbs down, even for a dice tower offering. <laughs> 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 Here's the thing, though. Um, jumping back to Shabilda's Yara, some people said we could be a committee of three to do our own version. There's a lot of people who criticize the Shabilda's Yara every year, no matter what they pick, and say it's too light, too this, it's not the best game of the year. Really, Re uh, Root was the best game of the year. That's not what the award's for. It's not no, necessarily to pick no. the best game. They're picking a game for families in Germany. It needs to be printed in Germany. It needs to be a quality game that stands out there, blah, blah, blah. I'm saying this doesn't even meet that criteria, in my opinion, which is just my opinion. Obviously, a group of people disagree with me. Right. Right. Erroneously. Wow. Thank you. Sure. I like that word. And Anything you will miss hob. about Dice Tower Con? Uh, no, never mind. No, uh, skipping that. Um, we'll talk about that later. Can you spoil? We spoiled <laughs> Rambo. Yeah, no. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rambo is a super old movie. Also, Rocky yes. defeated Drago in Rocky IV. This is not, you Whoa. know, that's spoilers. Hey <laughs> Say what? Uh, no, I mean, you can... That's if that's a spoiler, it's been spoiled by another movie. Right, right. 
Come on. Go ahead and spoil that movie too. Why don't you? No, that I'm one's not new. Gonna. That one's that, that one's, one's like new. I'm not going to say year old, about but, that. but I just I did not spoil anything. I didn't tell you how the movie ends. Here's how it ends. So Rocky, not a Rocky Rambo. <laughs> same guy. Whatever. <laughs> he puts on his gloves. <laughs> and blows up a gas station. It puts With a stuff. punch. Someone said, <laughs> Kabuki Kid says in the book for First Blood, Rambo kills like a whole town. He just snaps. Well, he also gets killed at the end. I'm going to go read this book now. Oh, Have you read sorry, it? Sorry, No. I was going to read this book. You just ruined it. We're spoiling everything today. Do you yeah, it's, a very, it's a very different thing. But do you guys want to know about Sonic Green? Kabuki Kid spoiled it. You just read it. So you spoiled it. Soil and green? What's soil and green? It's people. Huh? It's people? Someone said the audio didn't bother me Come as on, much. Come on, that's even older than, than Rambo. The audio didn't bother me as much as the weird video zooming choice, but that's because we had two cameras. One camera didn't work. The other camera, one camera was supposed to be a zoom camera. The other camera was supposed to be the, the, wide, the wide shot. The wide yeah. shot. Yeah. It is what it is. The redu they're releasing another Rambo, Rambo Last Blood. Is that yes. true? It's called Last Blood? Yeah, he's a rancher. Yeah, I'm yeah, looking forward to it. I think it's pronounced ranger. No, it's <laughs> rancher. He owns a ranch. It actually looks like it has a western theme. Wait a minute. Is this oh, like where dude. he's... Is, I haven't seen anything, he's, so I'm going to guess. He's an old man, Russell's come, people are causing problems, and he's like, all right, one last time. Yes, that's what I gather. That's So this is equivalent to Rocky Balboa. Sure. Old Rambo. Yes, and he can still mix it up pretty well. Yes. Old Man Rambo. <laughs> That's Old a movie man. I... <laughs> <laughs> Machine guns pop out. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That would work. Oh, my word. So aren't you glad you're here to talk about Dice Tower Con? Hey, it's cool. It's fun. It's Friday. You're hanging out, listening that's to right. us. And Make engage, fools of engage in All right, here we go. Fury. What do you call it? Quick picks or what's it? This or that? I don't know. Rapid lightning fire. round. Lightning yeah. round? Lightning round is right. You can round. ask us this or that. We yeah. won't answer all of them. You ask that every we'll time. Some what of is them. this called again? Because you guys true. did it more than I ever did. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Uh, lightning. Lightning round. round. Chocolate or vanilla. Stuff like that. Rambo yeah. or Rocky? Someone's going to ask that already, so we should get it yes, out of the way. That's true. Uh, Rocky. 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 No, Rambo. I like really? Rambo better, yeah. I mean, if, if, we, if you narrow it down it was only the first to movie. a specific... If Ooh. it's like the original, it was the first only movie, the first hard. movie, I would say Rambo, honestly. Yes, me but too. If, but but the entirety of what they've done, but Rocky. But if you go with like if you go with Rocky Four as opposed to Rambo Four, yeah, you're going with Rocky. Right, that's what I'm saying. Ro Rocky movies have been better. Rocky Four is one of my favorite movies. Oh, oh, time. you said Rocky. I like, I love Rocky Four. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Rocky Four is awesome. All right, I mean, living in America. Uno or yeah. Dose? Uh, I haven't played Dose Wait, yet. What? Rambo or Conan? Oh, Conan. Conan. Oh. Sorry, man. I like Rambo better, actually. Yeah, Conan. No, no, Conan. Come on. Conan the Barbarian. Conan the Destroyer. No. Mashed potatoes or mac and cheese? Mac and cheese, baby. Mashed potatoes. Cheesy mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. Oh. Can't, can't mix. Ram Rocky. Gum or mints? <laughs> Gum or mints? Gum. Mints. Actually, I was just telling my wife, I think I'm at the old age now. Where if someone's chewing gum around me, it really bugs me now. Chewing it never hurts used you. To. Is that what you mean? How you're old. You too. I mean, if they're over the. That's anything being chewed yeah. like that. Yeah, but gum does it doesn't stop. <laughs> like if they're chewing a candy bar, you know they're gonna finish it eventually. It doesn't oh, stop. Oh, you're right. You're Can right. I have a piece of gum? Are you prepared? What are your favorite mints? Gum for the rest what are your of favorite eternity? mints? Favorite mints? Altoids for me. Yeah. Uh, Altoids, Altoids are so strong. They're not strong enough. I want them twice as They're strong. They're curiously I want strong. <laughs> huh? What? Huh? Well, okay. Amy Altoids. Well, Thank done. you. Llama or the mind? The mind by a mile. No. Llama or the mind? The mind is at least a bizarre new concept. I've played. Llama's just. A I've car. played the mind. I haven't played llama. Superman. I honestly think llama. when you play them both, you'd be like the mind. At least to try to do something different. I really do think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superman or Batman? That's a boring Oh, come on, man. What kind of question is this? Batman. Batman. You like Batman. I'm sorry. If, you, if the thing that you are, uh, you know, weak to is a green rock, <laughs> you're a boring character. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Crow. He's got to have a weakness. It's not very dynamic of a weakness. Crow. Is. Like, ha -ha. It's part green, of his home green planet. Green rock. Ah! It's part of his home planet. Oh, my word. That Stop. Blew up. That's this is a dumb argument. Crow or Willow? Who? Crow, Crow or, or Willow? Oh, Crow. I love that movie. I've never. That's I don't Kevin remember. Sorbo, right? That's the one with the no. weird, like, star. Oh, right? that Kroll. I'm thinking Kroll. That's not what we're talking about? That's Kroll. Now. Oh, I'm thinking Kroll the Conqueror. Kroll the Conqueror. That's is Kevin, Kevin Sorbo. Sorbo. Right. That one. That's the best. That's better than, that's better than Conan. Um, I haven't <laughs> seen. Conan Light. I haven't seen Willow, and I'm going to go with Willow. I've only seen Willow, so I'm going to go with Willow. You've seen Willow? You quote it all the time. Uh, oh, that one scene. I've seen that one scene. I you haven't. haven't seen the whole movie? No. No, 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 no. He was watching Crawl all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't even see that, but you, that's like the quote that comes out like every... What's he say from that movie? Tempting, but no. Do you uh, want to yeah. breed? Yes. Tempting, but, but you haven't seen no. The you haven't seen the rest of the movie? Uh, no. He's never oh, seen, my word. He's never seen Aliens That's one of my either. favorite Val Kilmer scenes, though. Okay, the special effects are horrible, but I yes, love they're... Willow. Willow is a very nice fantasy film. Okay. All right. Okay. Stallone or Arnold? I like Arnold's movies a lot, but Stallone is a better actor. <laughs> I never thought that scene would uh, that sentence would be said out loud. No, he, no, I disagree. When I see him acting as Rocky in like the Creed movies and stuff, I think he's doing a fantastic job uh, as acting. Yes, I he's agree. He's not so bad. He's not bad. I agree. He, I agree. He plays that world weary yeah. older boxer like that's him. Uh, yeah. it's probably him. I'm not saying he was a good actor in Rambo, but he didn't have to be. He just walked around blue stuff right up. in Rambo. In well, even first in the first one, one the sure. First one he was the only good. complaints he gets are for like the end monologue. You can only make out like twelve words out of yeah. that. So. Yeah. He was really good in Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. <laughs> anyway, I'll say Stallone over our. Over yeah, I think I, I like more of his movies, so I, I guess I'll go that way. Okay. <laughs> Which Arnold movie would you want Stallone in instead of Arnold? Not the Ooh. Terminator. That would be that would that would not work. Yeah, he that, needs that to be the Terminator. Well, because, Arnold is because Arnold's so stupid. He's a machine, right? Right. Oh wow! But what I would like to see him in like uh, True Lies. I think uh, Stallone would have been good in. I know. I really like Arnold. That in prison that one. escape. They're both in it, man. Oh, that's right. <laughs> they are. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were being that's a troll. Right. He's the he's the guy that's already there. <laughs> I thought you were being a troll. <laughs> He actually meant that. He actually meant that. That's really funny. Well, your wish has been granted. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. All right. Brain That's, fart. That is fantastic. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, all right. Oh, um, my goodness. Jumping down, that was pretty good, like Sam. Like Chocolate-covered pretzels or peanut butter-filled pretzels? Peanut butter-filled. <laughs> yes. I'm going to go with peanut butter-filled because yogurt-covered pretzels I would have picked. Because I like those better than chocolate. Yeah. Peanut butter filled pretzels are really dry, though. Sure, I just get a glass of water and I'll be like, I'll just water. eat three of these peanut butter pretzels. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. And then you've got chocolate, you got peanut Woo! butter, you got pretzel, <laughs> and then a little cup of yogurt, so you dip it in there. Oh. Bam, <laughs> this the, baby. This is the looniest back talk in a while. <laughs> Apple or tomato? Apple? Apple. What, that, why? Okay. They're both fruits. Are to you, be are or you one not of those to be. People? Ooh, here's a good one. Futon or air mattress? Air mattress. Hands down, air mattress. Are you talking about when you make the futon into a bed, though? Yeah. Yeah, it depends. Have you ever laid on a futon where you were like, comfort? But I've I have also, laid on some air mattresses, and I was like, also, this ain't so bad. I've yeah. also n never laid on an air mattress that is raised up from the floor. Yeah, but it's not like futons are more than three inches normally. That's the problem. They're mm. really thin. Now, like, air mattress. I'm 100%. talking about the ones that you can make into a couch. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. a futon is, right? That's Basically. what we're talking about. Sure. That, okay, so the functionality it wins out on, but the air mattress, I can also go, it's away. Air yeah. mattress for me, man. Yeah. The only problem with air mattress, I guess, is that if you are staying in a hotel room with other people, 
there's a good chance you will be have a foot in your face at some point. Yeah. And they're easy to puncture, and there's always like an issue with that. And it's I'm just glad that they finally came out with these ones that blow something. themselves up. It's like this is that's one of the greatest inventions ever. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only person who worried about that? Like I used to blow like beach balls or a raft up, and you're like. Okay, it feels like I could do a little bit more. Is it going to blow up in my face? I've never seen it happen. Like, I've never seen someone blow... I've seen balloons pop. I've seen people... But do I've never seen someone blow up, like, a raft or a beach ball. I've seen people do it to a soccer ball before. But on purpose? No, it was accidental, but it did happen, yeah. How what was that They're like? Trying. Was it like well, an explosion? It didn't, it didn't actually explode. It just... One... It becomes oddly shaped. Like some seam uh, starts yeah, to go? Yeah, a seam rips, and it starts bulging out that way. Yeah. Oh, I'm just, terrified about because the pressure in those things is... Kind of high. But I don't think hand like pumps me, and stuff like that can add that much pressure to a, a. You know, there's probably a YouTube video where someone does it. Yeah. The one that terrifies me is uh, tires on vehicles. Yeah. That's scary. That, that, but that doesn't happen very often, right? That happens. Where people blow them? Why yeah. they're feeling with there? Especially if they're. Well, if it, it's machine pumped. If it's machine pumped and, and you know, you've been leaking air, so there's in, integrity issues with the tire, yeah, that's, that that's bothers dangerous. Me. That's actually dangerous. Yeah. Ivan Drago or Clubber Lang? Even. Which one's Clubber Lang? Even Drago was a Mr. better. T. I think Even Drago was a better. Is it Even? Uh, Ivan. Ivan Drago. Oh, for sure. I mean, not saying he was a great actor, but he just looked menacing. Yeah. Clubber Lang was almost like. Jokey at times, like come on, you know, it was well, like was almost Mr. silly. T. It was Mr. Yeah, yeah, T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Drago just, better. I didn't like his, I don't know, the attitude that came. Uh, Drago's persona was much more just stoic and confidence because I know I can beat you. Right, right, right. And I like break you. I like that, huh? He won't beat you. He will break you. I right, break you. Right, yeah. So I, I like that confident personality more than the showy. Overconfident right. personality yeah, that Clubber right. Lang has. Conan or Hercules in New York? <laughs> Have you seen that movie? <laughs> I've only seen bits and What's pieces that? of it. Hercules in New York? I think it's Schwarzenegger's first movie. Ooh, no. It's quite bad. I imagine if it was he's, his first he movie. He doesn't speak that's in before it. He's he learned how to act, probably. Oh, well. It's <laughs> it's a really, really bad movie. Like, if you ever want to have a really good that laugh. That was before Conan? Oh yeah, this I'm is. I'm pretty sure Conan uh, was one of his first roles. It was, this but like this is like eighty one or seventy nine. One of yeah, those two. Yeah, it's really early. The it was like. And again, he doesn't speak in it. He's dubbed. Somebody else is doing the voice, so it's really funny if you're watching it because I'm like a guy who speaks very eloquently is talking for him. <laughs> doesn't sound anything like Arnold at all. So it's like, hmm, okay. <laughs> Spaghettios or cream corn? <laughs> Spaghettios, man. Either Ugh. one. No, I like cream corn. I do too, but I'll, I'll correct me if I'm wrong. Creamed it. corn is like creamed corn. No, well, it tastes like corn that went through a blender. It's <laughs> yeah, okay. There we go. No, that's some disgusting. of them are like that. Other ones are corn that's in a cream sauce. That all sounds. Oh, worse. that's like a. You mean that's restaurant style? I can't afford that. That's what, I just have the can. That's what I just like kernel kernels from the corn in a can. I'm I good will with say that. though, with corn, if I go to a store and buy corn, doesn't matter what brand. Maybe some's a little bit better than others. Cream corn though matters. Yes. You buy generic cream corn and you buy the whatever green, green giant. giant cream corn. Big difference. Yeah, or sure, Del Montes. Sure. I like to get corn in high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> Oh, the Kevin Sorbo movie is Cull. Yeah, Cull the Conqueror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh, Crawl is is by far a much better movie. Horrible effect. Crawl is that Star Wars ripoff type thing, right? Star Wars. I've no. never seen it. No. Who's the star in Crawl? I don't even remember the dude's name. Well, you know we have this computer thing. I'm gonna try it. Out. Don't but, Google I that. Mean, uh, <laughs> not Google who was in Crawl. Uh, You're no, about to subscribe uh, to Blockbuster and they're not even around anymore. Uh, <laughs> Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon Jinn, the actor that played Qui-Gon Jinn. What's his name? Oh, uh, why? the guy from... Wait, uh, I typed in the... Krull, and it came up with Ko. Hang on, let me try this again. Oh, what is his name? <laughs> Can't remember, huh? Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, Neeson. Yes, Liam Neeson is you. actually in Krull uh, as one of a mi- uh, as a minor character. Really? It stars yeah. Ken Marshall. Yeah, yeah, he's... Listen, he's... Anthony, Freddie Jones, Francesca, and Nis. Yeah. I don't know any of those They're people. They're all very... They were... They were Unknown characters back when it was, I mean, unknown actors, I think, back when they were made. Trevor Martin. I don't have him. He's the voice of the beast. How do I know who he is? I don't, apparently. I lied. Never mind. Also, he's dead. 
Um, All right. Speaking ill of the dead. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, go back to the Thank thing. Okay, we're done call, here. <laughs> Thanks for the, that. That's about nice, Derek. That was one meandering <laughs> conversation, but it was fun. Folks. It's it's Friday. I, okay, I we had got a good time. We got reviews. Some reviews just went up. One's about to go up. Um, we got reviews coming tomorrow and Sunday. We'll be back here Monday uh, to be doing the Q and A. Tuesday would we'll be be here for testing Tuesday. And we're playing that game, Black so, Angel. Black Angel, not Dark Angel, because that's, that's Space Marines. War Camera, Warhammer 40K. Right. Black Angel. We're and, not and, playing Warhammer 40K. We're playing Black Angel. And we'll also probably play a few other games. So we'll see you guys. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, wherever you might be. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Sam Healy. See you on the flip side, folks. Take care.